Okay. I believe we're live. We should be live. Huzzah. Huzzah indeed, sir. Let me just adjust the chat here. Welcome, everybody. It's Boone, and this time with Bacon. Say hey, Bacon. Hey, Bacon. And we're here back playing some more Warlords of Britannia. Or, I guess not of. Warlord Britannia. Episode 6. And this time, Bacon's going to join us, and he's going to be my uh, counsel, my, my right-hand man. He's going to keep tabs on the chat and, uh, you know, help me uh, keep tabs on convoys and scouting reports and all that kind of stuff. I am a god boy. So, uh, good morning. We're at our tent here. Where are my guards? God damn it. <laughs> We. Can't see anything. Oh yeah, we should probably drop that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> take two, take two. Oh. Okay, go back here. Click this. Two, Click this button. This button. Seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. Oh shit! Crap! Booby. Book butts. Technical Pretty difficulties. Now, there we go! <laughs> okay, now now, now we got it. Now we are here. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. We're back at camp at our tent uh, because, unfortunately, in this game, you can only save when you have your troops disbanded. So we had to come back. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't recruit anybody. We are full. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get everybody called up. Um, I believe we have our voice attack on too, so we're going to manage. Oh, fancy. We're going to take our entire legion once again. Call to arms. Oh yeah. Mmm, these kebabs are really good. I do like a good kebab. We are assembling. <clears throat> that looks like we have some bad positioning here. But there we are. All right. So, yeah, don't forget to uh, keep an eye on scouting reports. Here's uh, Bacon if you want to take a screenshot of the map so that you can see any scouting reports of notes. Remember, I don't have the cities memorized, really. Yes. Alright, men. Follow me. We are heading west. It is time for us to finally the subjugate the entire south. I'm excited. We're our goal we're gonna go hard today. It's gonna be battle after battle. We're just gonna we're just gonna sweep and take all this. We're gonna start here at Craigbeg. This will be the Blitzkrieg of our attack. And we'll take Inchdemore and just start sweeping west all the way until we control the entire southern front. Yes. It's been, you know, with all this rain in the game, it's actually been storming like crazy here where I am. Uh, so if at some point I just go dark, that's because the storm knocked out the power here in the mountains. It happens. It happens, yeah, you know. Basically every time there's a big storm, I'll go ahead and lose power. I see a like, hey. I like a like. Everybody likes a like. Who wants to like my like? Hey. Anybody joining us? Hey. Oh, no. Slope and hatch is closed. That means no Cajun fries. What a bummer. Oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, pardon. That's two likes. I wonder how many likes. We should set a like high score count. <laughs> yes. And we're marching through the rain. It's kind of what it looks like outside right now. <laughs> I 
Those are big trees. They are rather large, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I've never been to England. Maybe, uh, maybe our English viewer can come school us on if these trees are accurate to the area. That how many how many likes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? See, these are these are the things we need to know. Come on, Council. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My council's busy <laughs> eating a kebab. <laughs> What's up, Guff? Yes. Hey, Guff made it. Nice to have you with us. Bacon's here with us on stream. He's going to be my counsel. He's going to be reading out the chat for me so that I can uh, Hello. keep my eye on the prize. Oh, you got Tootsie Pops? <laughs> I can't have Tootsie Pops. I can only eat meat. Uh, no, yeah, I wanted meat too. I wanted Cajun fries with Andouille sausage and cheese mm. that's what i wanted uh it looks like we are actually gonna start with the hamlet of fallon leash Oof. because we are literally right upon these mofos it's a good place to start yeah i need meat impregnate says afternoon evening hey how's it going impregnate Welcome. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon here. I wonder where you where what time is it where you're at, Impregnate? How about you, Guff? <clears throat> Alright. Marching formation. I lied. But it works. Uh we are no. going to do the museum after the stream. Yeah, at, we figure after the stream, once if whoever wants to stick around, we're going to do an after show and kind of that's when we're going to do the whole museum and everything. Prepare yourselves, man! Oh, those people are flying. We're going to stay in formation and see how that works out. That was uh, the suggestion last time and I got it a little late. So we're going to we're going to fight this one in formation and see how how our men do. Put our sword and shield here just in case we give this guy a good watch. Little spiddly paps, little watch. Little, little cram! <laughs> cram! Let me just come up here and chop, 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 chop. He's slicing and dicing like I'm Ninja Turtle Shredder. Oh shit, he didn't, he didn't like that. He came after me. Oh, this guy. Oh, get him in the back. Get him in the back. Oh, he didn't like that either. Impregnate is at uh, 8.30 p.m. 8.30? Yeah. Nah, that's awfully late. After show is going to be real late for you. Do you work early or... Oh, man. I'm out here having a solo battle. Oh, man. This this guy is fucking me up with the spear. <laughs> Dude, he is, he is actually doing some damn on me. Oh, I cut off his shield arm. I got him now. Oh... Legget Boon for Rome! Charge! Two hours before midnight. I think we call that ten here. How many losses did we take? Did you keep track, Counselor? Uh, yeah. So, so we got two deaths. Two deaths total? <laughs> How are we doing? Um, this week is Jubilee celebrations for our queen. Three days for all. Oh, who is your queen? The queen of England? We're going to loot. That's crazy. You know what? Actually, we're going. We're going to leave. We're going to leave this little hamlet be. This is small. This is small flying for us. We're gonna. We're gonna take half of your taxes. You're now under Rome's thumb. We're gonna be taking a lot of cities today, so I don't want to be building up a lot of unrest all at once. Back to formation. There is a uh, convoy from Ardranig Sag uh, heading to that other place. Marching formation. Can't read that one. <laughs> the 
pronunciation is a mess. Yeah. All right. It looks like there's that convoy. All right. Oh, yeah. Northwest, we got a battle coming our way. Battle formation. So how many men do we lose total? Oh, we lost an officer. That's the thing I don't like about holding a formation is we lose officers a lot easier. Oh, here they come. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Charge! See, I think cyclical charges is the way to go. Let them get up against you, charge and kill some of them. But if your men get too far away from the officers, you pull them back and let them, let them, you know, dial some of those guys in. Oh, lots of deaths. Big battle. I should get in there. Get out of the way, soldier. Okay, they're, I think they're winning it. We took some casualties, but I think we're winning. Back to formation. See that? When they start doing that, you go, nope. Get back here. Oh, yeah. Hey, we killed a VIP, which means the unrest goes down. That's good. Oh, yes. We're going to move towards the way station northwest of us. Marching formation. Queen Elizabeth II. 75 years on the throne. Could you imagine just what it's like to just be the queen of a country like your whole life? <laughs> like, just, yeah, that's crazy. Just like, it's like, yeah, this is what I do. I just be the queen. <laughs> wonder if you get to face... Queen things. Boudicca? I don't know how to pronounce that. Boudicca? The red-haired Celtic queen that smashed the Romans in a few battles. I don't know. Maybe maybe that'll be like an endgame boss fight one day. That'd be pretty cool. All right. We are going to keep heading west, a little bit northwest. We're going to take this way station, and then we're heading straight into Inchtamore before we take any more losses. I want to hit Inchtamore with full force. had nine total losses do i sound too quiet like that no no awesome well actually for me I, i'm not listening to the stream I'm hey elliam you eliot dixon <laughs> yes all right men prepare to take the way station Subscriber notification problems. Get ready. Here they come. Get them. Hmm. Back to formation. Hello, Elliot. I am the Council of Rome. Rome. <laughs> Bro, he's Speaking. the Council. <laughs> First day on the job. First day, yeah. He's he's yeah. he's getting used to it. He hasn't learned no kebabs. Okay, so since we killed that VIP convoy earlier, I think we're going to go ahead and take the loot. Uh, and this is just a way station, so we're just going to murder everybody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we're going to enslave a quarter and... What the hell was that? Ambush! Oh. Ah, yes, the console. Charge! Oh my god. Bodies just dropping. That's a mess. All right. Kill the VIP. 
Another VIP. Man, we are just destroying VIPs. Okay, we need to head northwest to Inchdemore. Console. We lost 12. Well, the console is different than the council. He's he's council to I'm, the legate. I'm the guy he's like the my desk. he's my advisor, the yeah. Earpiece. He's my advisor. And he, he, yeah. he keeps track of the chat, although he's kind of slacking. Darthar, yes. how's it going? <clears throat> Sorry, I, I've had a fever. So my voice is not how it usually is. It's kind of deep, though. He's like, yes. hey, I've been sick, girl. Let me sneeze on you. If I ever just go silent, I'm like blowing my nose or something. <laughs> Nothing bad, it's just a cold. All right. We're here to take this village. We've taken some casualties. The second century is actually taking quite a frickin' beating. But um, we have to press on. Here we are. Hold! All right, men. We must take this city for Rome. This is the first step in the subjugation of the South. The sun rises. We put our torches away. Prepare yourselves. Battle formation! Advance! Halt! Got suddenly dark. Is that like a cloud floating in front of the sun? Yeah. The lighting is crazy. That's one of the things I really love about the game. And the rolling clouds blocking the sunlight. That's cool. Charge! Uh, Darth Star says, um, just got done watching episode four. Saw you were streaming, and I did not expect for you to have this many soldiers. Yeah, we've been, it's it's been going up and down. Uh, we, we've taken some heavy losses here and there, but we, we've, we've grown back, and now we're rich beyond our wildest dreams to, we can fund our... It sounds terrible, but we can cover our losses. Yeah. For Rome, we need to take this isle for the greater campaign. It is imperative that we subjugate the entire island. Back to formation. So we're clearing out the south? Yes, our goal today is to clear out the south and put the whole south of the island south of Inchdemore under Roman rule and then we'll push into the highlands advance halt charge they're just jumping that fence. Oh my god, did you just see him run through those bodies like that? <laughs> oh, jeez. For such like Roblox characters, I love the I love the gore and like the the ambiance. It's still very great. Kicking the heads of All right, we've taken the village of Inchtamore and that oh my god, that villager just impaled himself on my sword. <laughs> He just ran up and killed himself on my sword while I'm in a menu. Holy oh, crap! Man. We they gotta do they they gotta do something about <laughs> about the villagers just running into the swords. All right, we are going to definitely loot. We're gonna take some money. We're not gonna enslave. The villagers should like 
because hide in their homes. This is going to be our border town when we push into the highlands. We want to keep them somewhat happy. But I'm going to take full taxation. 25 unrest I think we can handle. Oh, Sir, I'll send word to your mother. I'm sorry. This is the end for you. I'll put you out of your misery. A brave soldier. <laughs> All right. Honorable death. Back to formation. They seem a little stuck. AI is going to take over the world. <laughs> Am I missing the chat or is nothing happening? No, nothing. Okay. Seems... Got 10 people watching. Why are they all? Where are they? Oh my god, the advance order. We did this last time. The advance order oh, is yeah. literally across the map. Okay, they'll come back. That's why they're freaking out. They'll come back. They're, they'll, they're, they're, men, men, men. <laughs> come back eventually. We're just gonna, we're just gonna head southwest, and uh, we'll rendezvous with the men. I sent them off on a scouting mission, and I told them to go around and meet me further southwest to take the next point that's what happened is uh, strategy tactics yeah, yeah. uh you know pro gamer moves see i i said meet meet up with me so we can take that spot you know that's 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 the real move and look watch the boys will show up any minute they'll just they're they're they're, they're on their way impregnate says you ain't paid them and they're off no 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 they're loyal Romans. They're paid in honor and glory in battle. And one gold when hired. And one gold. Yeah, they get one gold coin. That's like everything to a Roman citizen. They're like, fucking gold? Dear God, gold. I'll go murder a thousand barbarians for one gold. <laughs> ah, see, what did I tell you? Look it. Strategy. Strategy. <laughs> the scouting party has returned. Oh god, they're throwing rocks at me! Ow! Charge! Oh. God, Legget yeah, Boone has to watch his health. Legget Boone really has to watch his health. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Darth, Darth Star saying, when you're holding, you lose a considerable amount of men. Because only a few of your soldiers can attack. Um. Yes. That is true, but I also lose a considerable amount of men when I charge. <laughs> I've noticed that as, oh my god. It's a wacky, waveable, inflatable, spurting neck guy. <laughs> Everyone wants it. Guys, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Oh my god, another one! We gotta get these swords out of here. These things are dangerous. All right, there's a Hamlet East. Oh, yes. Marching formation. Devour their souls. Yeah, I've been experimenting with a couple of different tactics, Darth Star. Uh, one of them being putting them in battle formation and then using the arrow key to advance them at the enemy so that more of them can engage, thereby but keeping the men close together and not just like doing that huddling thing they do when you send them to charge. Because I notice when I charge, I get a lot of deaths really fast. Yeah. Like how many?
many did we lose there? Look at that. We lost a shoit. Now, I don't take as many officer deaths when I charge, which is the main reason why I prefer to charge out. But... Experimenting. Yeah. The game is... I'm still getting experiments. Experiments, you know? Yes. So total losses is... um. 31 men and 4 officers. 31 men and 4 officers? Oh. Yes. And it looks like the second century is taking the brunt of that. See, and this is when I wish I could like rearrange centuries and like retire men back and like All right. Battle formation. Charge. Let's see. Look at those deaths. Oh. Oh. Hey, but you got taxes. Yep, did get taxes. See how many deaths when you do the charge? Oh my god. That's Just death after death after death. Back to formation. Uh, we are just going to take half tax and loot. How is our local unrest? Our, our unrest is pretty good right now. But next is Inverkirk. Oh my god! There's more! Oh. Advance! Halt! There was another army sent. Oh man, I'm gonna die here. Ooh. Charge! If you die, is it game over? I don't know. I've never died. <laughs> I don't wanna die. <laughs> I don't wanna die! No, I'm just kidding. I'll die for Rome if I must. Arrgh. For the glory of Rome! We lost Sextus Caesar. CZS. Oh no. God, this is not going well. This might be the end for Legged Boon. Oh god. Oh. Impregnate. Uh, oh, that was a big one. Ask the question Do you think. You might have to fortify the converted Roman villages slash towns in the future. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Like we were talking about yesterday where maybe when you enslave the population, you can set them as workers or guards and they get you resources and possibly have to set up walls around the city and be able to stop raids from trying to take the city back. That's I, I would like to see some stuff like that for sure. All right, to Inverkirk. Also, Darth Star counted Southwest. 11 deaths in that fight. Yeah, that was... Wow, we have taken some losses in the first. But we're still moving. Not giving up yet. Never give up. What do you guys think? What do you think, Council? What is the what is what is the 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 Senate? That's what we're gonna call the chat is the Senate. What does the Senate think? Should we go to camp and restock and let our men lick their wounds, or do we keep marching westward? Sleazy is sexist. <laughs> Impregnate suggests setting up a new camp. You think we should set up a new camp? Does anybody second that motion? Uh, we got one for 
Marching for the might of Rome. Hmm. If we set up a new camp at Dunsai. You know what would be cool is if we could resupply at towns we've captured. Like if we went here, we could get some heals and some... Uh, like, I know that outposts are on the roadmap, but it would be nice if, like, since we own this, it gave us some sort of buff or, you know, something besides villagers just running into my sword here. You want some? Oh. You want some? Right here? You want some? <laughs> and who's just sleeping outside? Clearly that person. Hmm. We have two for set up a new camp and two for march of Rome. Yes. Of course. As per usual, the Roman Senate is equally divided. Nothing gets done. <laughs> Nothing at all. Well, I guess we leave it up to our council. Council, you've gotten Senate. Make them farm. You think we should take I would I would set up camp. You think we should you think we should go back and move camp closer? To take all this? It's probably a good idea. You, you can only have one camp at a time? Yeah. Uh, so we yeah, we can only have one camp at a time, so we would have to go back and take down our camp and move it closer but that would well, give us better ability to resupply and you do have a lot of villages to get through yeah hmm all right i think we move camp my health is low anyways yes i should get back <laughs> So we march east. March. Impregnate asks, uh, can't you stick your flag in the ground and create a new camp? Uh, no, not until we remove the old one. You only get one flag right now. So until I think that's the point of the outposts update. But for now, you'd have to go back, disband your men, and then you can hit the... Pardon my burp the relocate camp button in the camp menu and then it will delete all the buildings and the flag except for the walls and then you can move now what i think i will do though is i'm gonna leave the walls this time i'm not gonna pick up all the palisades i'll leave it so if we want to we can come back and make the camp here by just setting down the flag and putting down a bunch of tents and then we'll leave the walls up so that way we have a fort kind of already set up where we can move back to east and west if we want to change where our front is from. Sounds good. Maybe when going on a big conquest like this, you could pick up the flag. You. yeah no that's that's smart see these are the things that we need to think of these are the tactics so yeah when you when you're when you're planning on moving we should have we should have thought that off the bat and moved the camp closer since we already took Dun Dunisai. Dunisai? Dunisai. and now we now we know <laughs> all right if you buy a if load of soldiers, oh, oh don't you got it? You know, go 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 ahead. Sorry, I forgot. This is your first time. <laughs> if you buy a load of soldiers now, do they appear at the camp as soldiers? Yeah, yeah. Look, so I can I can I can stock up, except for I'm gonna hit the problem of I need to elect a test before I can start doing that. But that they will come back here, and I can set them up as guards, so they're guarding the camp. Ah. Uh -huh. But if I were to do some promotions on the way, I could keep recruiting. 
But yes, yeah. they do appear as the at the campus soldiers unless you set them up like I just did as guards or workers. So like you could take your whole crew out, your whole legion out, and uh, set up a bunch of trees to harvest. And then as people die, you just hit the recruitment key and set them up as workers so they can start chopping down trees and things like that for when you get back. That would be what I would do. Yeah, it would be nice if we could create multiple camps. You know, I think, uh, you know, it's on the roadmap. We're obviously, we're excited for all the things that this game can be. But I think so far it's been a lot of fun. I enjoy the gameplay loop and I enjoy, uh, let's see, pull up my beaten stick. Is it? So very pretty. Yeah, yeah, the lighting and everything is just, it's great. Servius Titus, Servius Titus, Titius, you are Tess, which means I can go ahead and keep recruiting. Oh man, the second century officers were obliterated. Looks like both of you are being promoted. Everybody's getting a promotion. You get a promotion. You get a promotion. You get a promotion. All right. Uh, now we should be able to... No. We have to wait till we get back because... There, we don't have any more men to promote in that century. They're all back at camp. Crazy. But hey, camp should be just over that hill. We're almost back. Earth Star asks, um, what would you like to see more, archers or cavalry? Archers. I would like to see archers. Um, I would like to see. I would definitely like to see archers first. I think archers are going to be easier to balance than cavalry. And cavalry, you're going into a whole nother, like, the bow and arrow's already in the game. You know what I mean? I, It's yeah. going to be easier to implement. Hey, Jan Bomo, welcome to the stream. Welcome. They would have to add a whole horse where they can do cavalry yeah and then you got units of different speeds and then like when you're marching now do the horses stay with the march or are they faster or can you send them to charge and then you got to have oh well i want my infantry to stay and my cavalry to go and my archers to stay so i think first there's gonna have to be a little more um in-depth command controls for your units like i was talking about being able to set their direction and what centuries you want where and how you want them lined up before we can start implementing different types of units because otherwise you're going to hit charge and all your archers are just going to go running in oh yes and the your the enemies having more ranged weapons would also yeah really affect the gameplay yeah, it, I, I, I think they should. And I think also there should be... Um, the, the Brits should have even more flushed out as it goes up. Now, once again, we haven't gotten to the Highlands, so we haven't seen, you know... Uh, we keep uh, finding new things every episode, so who knows what we're going to run into. Uh, fronts over here. Mm-hmm. Or maybe some slings. They had slings. Oh, yeah. All right. This ban our legions. All right. Hello. We just picked up our entire camp. Michael? Hey. Michael, Michelle. Is that Michael or Michelle? 
Is that Michael Shaw? Thank you. Um, oh, it's a little dark. Man, light your torches. Okay, so as you can see now, the entire camp has been taken down. Now that we've Crazy. disbanded, hit the relocate camp button, uh, everyone should be... You're all healed up? On me. Yep, I'm all healed up. Everybody's healed up and got Pila and ammo again. But we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna leave the Palisade so that we can uh, come back and plant camp here much easier next time. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get out of this mess of people coming in. Okay, we're gonna let's... Everybody in? Okay, and everybody out. <laughs> okay, so we need to head back west to Dune CI with the with the camp. Although I have OCD, so we are going northeast to take that one red way station. <laughs> We're just gonna go mop them up real quick before we finish our campaign and start our western campaign over here to subjugate the entire south. What are they saying? A uh, few good questions. Uh, do you save game so you could do an expeditionary force run up north just to see if it's different? I have not. I could, but to be honest, I kind of want to just do it naturally. I want to experience it as it comes and be surprised when I'm outnumbered or outmatched. Yes. I, I, I want that. Uh, that's part of the fun. I want to. I want to have the immersion. immersion. We march for immersion. We're all about immersion here at the Boone and Bruise. Battle formation. And uh, Dark Darth Star, asking, do you think that they should add the outpost before the auxiliaries? Aux auxiliar auxiliaries. I do. I think the outpost is much more important gameplay-wise. It's gonna make the gameplay. A lot more enjoyable, I think. Charge! No it's deaths. A small camp. It was just a way station. It's kind of like a. Uh... And we're gonna go ahead and loot and enslave everybody. Because how you were a pimple on the face of my beautiful blue coast. And now we head west to finish off the south. And that's what we call Southern hospitality. Watching formation. Pretty cool how they move. Yeah, it's it's nice that they they stay in the unit, and I think that's why like, I think this game could go really far, and it introduces a lot of nice game mechanics that I like and a nice flow. There's a little convoy coming for us, so we will head west. Oh dear. And uh, it's just a small one. It's three gold. We'll be able to wipe them. Yeah. Douse your torches, man. Let's not give away our position too easily. Oh, they're going that way. Through the burnt down town of Drummondard. Drummondard! Alright. Well, we're gonna keep marching west. I'm gonna hustle through some glitchy trees. Got a bit of, I got a bit of um back up on the stream mm -hmm. probably that storm you mentioned and what do you what do you got for me uh oh YouTube is not receiving video yeah Uh-oh. 
did warn them. that how do we fix this I don't I don't know oh I think it's it's coming looks like it's back okay sorry about that everyone is it is it working again Are we back? Stream status poor still. What is going on? Yeah, it's got to be that storm. Yeah, impregnate. Sorry. Uh, there, like I said earlier, there's a big storm going. And I think that we're losing our... Pamela, you're not on the Wi-Fi, are you? Sorry about the lag, guys. The storm the seems to be weather. messing with the internet. I can't get away from the rain, in the game or out of the game. I say that, but it's sunny right now. That'll change soon. Seems that we're receiving an error. We oh, might no. have to restart. The Celts have cut out the cables. The Celts have cut the cables! <laughs> <laughs> All Ethernet cables lead to Rome. Is it working now? Okay. I'm getting the I'm getting okay's from people. Let let us know if it keeps acting a fool. We'll keep it. Oh, now I'm getting error messages again. It's going up and down. Hey Guff, glad to have you here. Yeah, Guff, glad you got to make it today. Oh, it'll it'll go in and out a bunch. I guess I'll just keep going and see if it catches up. Okay, so do we go for Inchdemore or Dunsiag? I think Inchdemore is going to be the better place to set up camp. Maybe out in the fields here. Mm. Like maybe not in the the farm where convoys are gonna come through. Yeah. Wanna get them at their weak side. Yeah, and I, I want to make sure that where our camp is has good defense. Okay, we got excellent connection again, apparently, according to yeah. OBS and YouTube. So hopefully... The stream just refreshed. Yeah, hopefully we don't have any more issues. Sorry about that, chaps. What is that over there? Hot two, three, four, from other room. So yeah, guys, after the stream, we're gonna do a kind of after show where we're gonna do what we were talking about in the museum. Where we'll go through the different armor types and uh, troop types and 
shields and weapons and helmets and there's lots of descriptions on what is what and yeah it's pretty cool we're going to talk about some of the roman armor types and their unit types so that you guys have a better understanding of what when we're promoting people what we're talking about and then also if anybody is interested me and bacon uh we're gonna start a stream playing some steep if you guys ever heard of that game it's a like extreme winter sports game it's pretty action-packed and uh quite funny <laughs> yes we've had a few moments just trying it out earlier so we think we're gonna be streaming that later on tonight Alright, let's stop and see where we're at. That's a road. Let's do more. Alright, we're gonna keep heading west past the city here. Village, more like. So, Bacon, how was that kebab? They were quite delicious. Yeah, I love a good kebab. I wish I had some meat right now. I'm getting a little peckish. Oh, yeah. Who needs some food? Hello, hey. Matt Corley. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Come on, men. Put a little pep in your step. I know it's been a long I march. Am. And Metal Rain I didn't acknowledge you earlier. Metal Rain? I guess if... What? In a delay later, I guess I'm in a bad spot. Sorry, Metal Rain, that sucks. I, I I think it might be part on my end if you give it a sec. Maybe try refreshing the page. Weaving trees like it's Star Wars. I'm a TIE fighter. I haven't played Star Wars. Well, like in the movies. You know? And they're riding yes. the speed bikes through the trees. Roman soldiers were paid in salt. Is that true? Bacon, can you fact check that? Uh, let's see. That's crazy. That's so cool. Were Roman soldiers paid in salt? Oh my gosh, that's one of the actual common searches on Google. Of course it is. <laughs> Being so valuable, soldiers in Roman army armies were sometimes paid with salt instead of money. Their monthly sometimes. allowance was called salarium. Sal being <laughs> salary, that's where salt. salary comes from. Sal being the Latin word for salt. That's interesting. That's crazy. So... Talk about our salary. Salarium. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to put our camp here. This is some nice flat ground. So uh, the, the English word salary actually came from the French word uh salary. I'm not French. Uh oh well, my actually, god. I'm, I'm half French. What Canadian. is happening to this man? Hello, Mini Man. Hey, Mini Man, welcome to the stream. Oh, dear God. Oh, man. Sir? Are you okay? <laughs> Holy mole, mole, mole. Everybody, everybody hold up. He's just, he's just teabagging Britannia. Yeah, real hard. We call him John the Jackhammer. No. Oh my god, it's Biggest Dickus! Oh my god, it's Biggest Dickus! They put... <laughs> yes! They put in Biggest Dickus! I love you! I love you! Dark! Oh! <laughs> Look at he's glitching out like crazy! Biggest Dickus! He's wow. in the 9th century! Oh, Biggest, please fix yourselves! Wait, come back here! This man... Oh... He needs to be my primus, the biggest dickus. Oh, this is great. Uh, they just made my whole day. My whole day. Biggest dickus. 
<laughs> it's amazing. What a legend. Oh, oh. he's got to, oh, he's got to be, oh, oh, in the ninth century too. So you know that he's going to last as long as we don't get reamed from behind. We have to watch our back right flank. Biggest Dickus just finally came on the scene. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. I mean, I've been writing letters to Caesar personally every day. <laughs> oh, man, that's fucking great. Right as we move our camp. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and start. Uh, we'll disband the men. Yes. And... So? So? Um... Mini man asking what we doing. Uh, so uh, to catch everyone up that just joined, we are here. Uh, on, we have finished our eastern front, and now our mission is to move west. We've taken Inchdermor, and now our plan is to subjugate the entire southern half of the island, so that way we can push up into the highlands. That's where we're at right now. Right now, we're currently moving our camp from the east to the west. We have decided to set up camp at Loch and Leash, a farm outside of Inchdermor that gives us a good location to resupply to finish the campaign south, and then later we won't have to move the camp when we start pushing into the highlands on the west coast. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get building because we are... Setting up here. So I'm setting up tent there. And what are the chances that biggest Dickus himself would be glitching in a field? I mean, it. I believe. If anything, it makes me believe in the Roman gods even more. <laughs> I've always been a polytheistic believer, but this this takes it to a whole new level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine in the officers strip there. And now starting here, what we're gonna do is line up we're gonna give some space like that maybe okay Jupiter made it so Jupiter made it so indeed okay let's see here all right so we're gonna want at least so there's nine tenths but that's perfect so we'll literally go like this we'll line up Welcome back, McCurley. McCurley. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I probably are. <laughs> and then we got one vote to to kick Boone and make Biggest Dickus the leader. Oh my God, <laughs> Mini Man! How could you betray me like this? Et tu, Brute? I would follow Biggest Dickus. I'm sure you would. Gotta like what you got. Hey. <laughs> what I need is for all these soldiers to get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> okay, you know what? Everybody be a worker. Everybody be a worker. Now, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of togas. That's a lot of togas. Hey, 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 mini man. Actually, dude, that stream was such a fluke because I ended up playing like till four in the morning on my other save and was having a grand old time. I, I think it was just, the, it was nothing going on and then I just rushed it when I found something to do. And, uh, yep, you know how it goes.
We're gonna do a little bit more lined up camp this time. Looks very nice. And uh, hopefully, get off of me. Sure, buddy, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know if we're at enough tents yet. Bacon, do you have a tent count? Come on, council. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, I am here. But where am I? Yes, Bacon is here with us. He's my council today. He's helping keep track of the chat and... Uh, and apparently the number of tents. And the number of tents. Like, you had one, you had seven jobs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're being attacked! Pause. Oh, dear. Pause. <laughs> well, good thing I made everybody workers Whoa. with no armor. Fight! Defend the camp! All of a sudden, I didn't see any reports of a convoy. Is it just me or my Pila just like going through people? You gotta, you oh. gotta get them in the shield, man. Okay. <sighs> okay. Jeez Louise, guys, this is lacking accommodations. Need more tents. I still need more tents. Miniman says you have 27. Wow. I assume in reference to the tents. But it's still not enough. These men just... I want my own tent. Hey, 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 whiny legionaries. To be fair... To These be tents fair. only have one story. What? I'm just saying it would be more efficient if each tent had two stories. Well, tell me the story. Tell me the one story of the tent. I don't know the story. Uh, once upon a time, <laughs> I set up a camp. <laughs> and it had a tent. And tent. the tent was like, hey. What's up? It's a terrible story. He stole my first girlfriend. <laughs> okay, it's getting interesting. And and flew away because it was a very stormy night. Oh, like the wind took it away. I could see that. That's believable. Yeah. All right. I fell on my knees, looked up to the heavens, and said, "Damn." <laughs> That's rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Damn, that's rough, buddy. Uh, great story. I loved it. We're here whacking some trees because I know we're going to run out of wood the second I start building the palisade around this camp. Another... Oh, no. oh my god. I spot another convoy coming in. <laughs> Call the no. arms. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm too far away. Call the arms. Yeah. Find the cab. Ah, for Rome. Thanks, man. What? Nothing. Oh, mini man, that's 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 rude, man. <laughs> We disband. The camp is already a bloodbath. I know. We really need to get these walls going. We're gonna keep more men. Do we have enough? Hey. Oh, we've been losing men left and right. Oh, it's okay. I got another one. 
We need a second century. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I hope we didn't Boone deserves better. I hope we didn't lose Bickus. Oh, I hope not. You guys got to watch that feed and make sure that we don't lose Bigus. I need to I need to turn the quality up cuz I can't actually read the names on the reports. Hmm. Okay. Jeez, Louise. Okay, we need to get some storages down, I'm guessing. Storage is good. Yeah, don't insult Boone. He deserves better. Thank you. He deserves you to press subscribe and ring that bell. Yeah, and also uh, earlier Pamela asked the question, how many likes does it take to get to the center of Votuzzi Pop? So if you guys could hit that like button to tell me to shove my thumb up my butt. Right there, wow. right under the video, there's that upwards thumb. You hit that. If you like me, and if you don't like me, you hit that upwards thumb to tell me to shove my thumb up my butt. <laughs> Either way, hit that up thumb. It works for both parties. All senators can be, can agree on a thumbs up. Mini man doesn't know what a Tootsie Pop is. It is a lollipop with chocolate in the middle. Little chocolate taffy that yeah. you chew. It's like a candy. After you're done the lollipop, you got a nice chocolatey taffy to chew on. It's I find it's easier to place things if you move the screen around. Wah, click. But then, you know. All right, we've got some storage. You got that. Time to build the walls. We're going to start with our center camp stream here because I think this is going to be where our gate will be. It's not really quite even now, is it? Let's go like that, like we usually start our gates. And this time we're not going to go so extravagant on uh, our walls. Now that we've got this nice tight, nice tight camp, we're going to try to keep this fast and loose and we have no wood. All right, so more trees. <laughs> time to get more trees. Oh, check for raids. Thanks for the heads up. We're looking good right now. No raids in sight. Very good, very but good. We need wood. Thanks for keeping That's an eye good. out, Impregnate. We gotta stay on top of it. That's why we got Bacon here watching the chat, so that we can uh, get everybody, yes. get the Senate involved, you know? Yes. Our wonderful Senators here are all tacticians in their own right. It would be cool to have gates. Yeah, gates would be really cool. Also, I was thinking like some sort of like trap, like a pit trap or something, or like spikes that you could maybe Ooh, set up spikes. to like ambush. You guys want to decide what I eat? <laughs> We should look That's up a the, good question. We should look up the menu of Russo's. Russo's Pizza in Glenwood Springs. I've it's never an, heard of it. It's an hour away, but look up the menu. I'm going to have it flown to me by drone. Oh man, the nearest Russo pizzeria is in Edmonton. That's not even true. There's only one. <laughs> oh, really? I'm going to post a picture of the menu in the Discord. Maybe. I am. I'm going to post a picture in the, our Discord. 
and uh, what kind of fries should I be eating? Because I'm hungry. Grenades, wow. Grenade fries? Is that... Are you are you looking at it? Never. Yeah, I'm looking at it. <laughs> Gangsta fries, grenades. Huh. You can tell it's a pretty cool place. <laughs> yes, mini man. Or are you? Is that a question or a statement? Uh, oh, I need to catch up on the chat. How about bacon wrapped boon? Whoa. Oh yeah, how do I link the Discord? What do you mean? You hit invite, uh... Uh, send the, up in the Discord, hit the invite link, and then... Uh, I believe they did. They did have fire traps, uh, and oil traps. All right, that should be uh, Bacon's working on a link right now. Well, I'm thinking we should put the link in the description, no? We should put the link in the description. Also, if you go to our homepage channel, there's a link to the Discord in the trailer to the channel, which is a very, very old trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Two years, almost three. Counselor is pretty bad at keeping up with the chat. I am adding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're working with it. stuff. I know, I know. I'm messing with you. You know what? There. Oil can be very deadly. Yeah, it's not easy to wash off, especially if it's on fire. Especially if it's penguins. Wait, what is that? Is that a uh, is that a temporary link? No. It's, uh, expire after never. Max number of uses no limit. Huh. Are you sure you did it? Like you're in the hangout page. In the hangout page, yeah. And you uh, hit invite over the top. That's weird that it's a different link than the normal one. It should be like RH68 some shit. Really? Yeah, look at the look at the trailer. Look at the Discord description. I mean the description of the Discord in the trailer. Oh, but I've been... Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different link every time you generate one. Not for me. It's been the same one for since the beginning. Really? Mm -hmm. For me, every time I make a link, it's different. Oh, that's weird. Maybe it's because I'm the admin. Maybe. Why can't I place this? Oh, I'm out of wood again! You're out of wood. Oh, the fence is so close. Okay, we're gonna go to smack a couple trees right here. So yeah, we'll 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 put the link in the about page, and uh, we'll start adding it in the description of the videos. 
these are the things that yeah we need to refine here and that's what we'll be working on after the show yes yeah, very good very good because you're right we should probably just put that it's gonna make it a lot easier <laughs> Okay, that should give us enough wood to finish off the wall here. So I'm going to go post like that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this piece. We just need to set up our little gate front. Uh, that shouldn't be. No one can join the voice chat that you are in on Discord. No, they can't. This one doesn't say that it's locked. Uh, no, it is. It it does not say private channel, no. The recording booth? Should be. Oh, no, it does. There we go. Thanks for pointing that out. It It will let you in. It, it'll let you in, but it wouldn't let you talk. Like, you can join and listen, but you can't uh, talk is how I had it set up. But I should just put it like that for now. I had it set up that only people in the YouTube team are able to speak inside of it. Interesting. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, I can set it up so that you can join, but you can't speak. No, I want that a little farther out. Like there. The IP convoy. Heading to... Chromag? Yeah. All right. After we get the camp secure, because, well, it would be bad losing your army without camp. Uh, we will be we will be moving out shortly. We are moving. We had we're I'm almost done with the gate here, and then we have to do a little promotion and restocking, and then we will be heading out. And that should be the finishing touch on that. Let's put this torch away. It's the middle of the damn day. All right. So now when we go to recruit, what does it say? Promotions. Yep. Okay. So let's go ahead and get. Still here, some building going. Okay, so let's get everybody called to arms. We'll get them out of here and to the field over here. Are you able to recruit more? Uh, I'm going to. I have to do some promotions in order to recruit because we're missing a bunch of oh, officers. Yes, yes, yes. So now that we're back here, we're gonna uh, set our men up for inspection. Because we are missing a s test in the second century. 
The green settlements are ones that have been burnt down. Uh, green or gray? No, no. So this green Not is the, gray. the yeah, gray is burnt or enslaved. Blue is our control. Red is their control. And the orange and green ovals underneath are the unrest of that town. Did I really say green? You did say green. It was weird. Oh, goodness. Okay, we need... Biggest dickus. Oh, my God, you're okay. Thank God. Thank God you're okay. Biggest dickus is still here, guys. Don't you worry. After all the, the camp fighting, I just wanted to make sure the biggest dickus was still with us. All right, where were we? Second century. We need a Tess. Ooh, Pontius Pilot. Take your mail. You've got 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 mail. Is anybody old enough to get that joke? All right, going ahead and get some more recruiting until enlisted positions. Let's see. We've got third century also needs a test. Well, you guys took a beating. Nias Apustius, alias Clavius, Marcus Babulius. Marcus Babulius, the... <laughs> the Babui himself. Babui. A Babui. He's a full blooded Italian. Alright. No officers, no officers, no officers, no officers, no officers, no officers, no officers. Awesome. We should be able to get full numbers again. Except we're out of tents. We need more tents. Shite. How many more tents do we need? All right, we're going to go ahead and disband while I throw down a couple more fit. tents. I'm sure I can squeeze a few more tents in here. Yeah, look. Boone will find a way. There's a tent. You are too far from camp to disband. No, we're not. All right, everybody going to yeah. do that. Oh, look, we get. I can fit a whole row of tents here. Let's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Line this up. Look, there's a stone from one of the barbarian raids. All right, now, hopefully that should give us... Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and set some workers, though, so they can come build that. They should come running on in. This is a much more yeah. organized camp. It's a lot tighter. The other camp gave us a lot more room, and I liked it, but we're, uh... Yeah, I agree, Impregnate. That's a cool idea of having uh, the proximity of the camp affect the unrest of towns. Like, if they're enemy towns, it goes up. And also the size of the camp. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Boone is stuffing his face for a second. It looks like this is going to end up being... Now, does that give us enough? 205, it does. So we can now recruit the max number of men. There we go. Oh, nice, nice. We're at full capacity now, folks. Our legion is fully ready to go. What quests have we not done? Conquer 25 settlements. Well, we're about to get that. Take 150 slaves. We have to start enslaving. So we need to conquer settlements and enslave them. These are the orders from Caesar. It seems like we've taken the east. We have good taxation. The west... Oh my god. They're right on top of us. Whoa. Move, 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 move. There they come. The north. Northwest. Or am I an idiot? Uh, Miniman is asking how you Oh, they're right here. Oh, my God. 
Come on. Charge. Battle's happening right inside the gate. Apparently they ran in behind me as I ran out. Sneaky. Get him. Uh, so gold income, when you take a town, you, there will be serfs, and if the town is big enough, there will be nobles. Uh, and the serfs give you silver, the nobles give you gold income and uh, gold from enslaving them as well. Gathering of nobles. We're taking some casualties. Oh dear. Maximus Decimus. Look at how big this man is. Jesus. Great. Okay. All right, everyone. Oh, a very important enemy leader was killed in the action. Local Ooh. unrest levels have dropped. That's what we like to see. Okay, let's... Lost a couple men. Yeah, we lost a couple men. We're just gonna we're just gonna real quick grab them. We're going to set marching order and set them to follow. Oh, wait! One of the officers, I did they? Yeah, it says you can't recruit. You need to. Oh, that's people. no, that's because I'm at the max. So the next step would to be promote. Uh, but there is mistaken. no more. There is no more room for promotion. So. Go back here, disband, pick up those last two men, call back. No, 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 no. Oh, everybody calm down. I'm going to dip out this way. They're all still trying to follow me. I probably should have told them to hold. Maybe. Well, I thought those were more barbarians incoming. But those are. Man, we... Man, this might coming. not have been a great camp location. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're heading south. We're heading southwest. We're not yeah, getting involved. Are all of your officers max level? Yes, yeah, so we're not getting all of our uh, max level as in armor. I think that uh, I there's still a few that aren't veterans yet, but they will be soon. I do need to go through and start arming the camp here. But we're going to follow this convoy here. There's our first target. Actually, we're going to... Hold. Let's, uh, let's... Oh my god. And we're immediately attacked. Whoa. Pila flying everywhere. Wow. Dear god. It was a small one. And now it's raining, of course. All right, but we need to start upgrading the men. Just spam clicking. <laughs> we have the money, so I don't have to be picky. Yeah. Whoa, we got a veteran over here, Optio. Look at him, Servius Cluvius. Marching order. Ooh. Actually, this is turning out to be quite better. All right. Mail, 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 mail. Plate. Everybody's getting plates. Fine China. Coming in hot. Another Optio veteran there. veterans all around nowadays huh we've got some men who have been with us a while and we got lots of new recruits always new recruits there's people just dying 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 all right make 
sure our men are nice and armored up. Look at all this beautiful plate. Woo! All the clicks. Tiberius. Do, do you not want armor? I'll come from the back. Maybe it's easier. Like armor. Look at these veterans. Life is rough for a Roman legate. This legionary has been with us 13 days. Posthumus Arius. This man has earned his veteran armor. He's not even an officer. He's literally just a legionary, and he has survived every single one of those massacres that we've been through. Every massacre that you've seen us be wiped to nearly nothing, this man has survived all of them. Damn. What a fucking legend. Everybody remember Posthumus. Who else has been Impregnate with us? asks, uh... Veterans, what's the bonuses they get? So, let's look at a legionary veteran, posthumous, if you'd be so kind. So, it looks like they get a 50% deflection bonus. So, basically, it's a 50-50 chance that their attack, if, like, their attack, now, this is if their attack lands, they're still, they could still block with the shield, and then that's not even counting that. So, they could block with the shield, but say it gets past the shield, and it hits them. They actually land a blow. Then it's a 50-50 chance that blow just deflects. This guy literally has the flip of a coin keeping him alive. Crazy. Don't you wish you were as good as him? One day, Biggest Dickus will have a, the name, uh, the ability to be with us like that. How long have you been with us, Numerius Tuterius? 25 days. Numerius Tetorius has been with us since the beginning. He was our he was our primus, and now he's our perfectus, and he has literally been chilling with us for 25 days. How about his men here? They have also been with us 25 days. Decimus Dacius, 20 days, but still, that's crazy. Awesome. That is a good meal. Oh, I see Biggest Dickus. Now, here's one thing to note. Biggest Dickus is on the front line of the 9th century. He's not playing around. He's here to play for keeps. He's only been here six days. Wow, he's been here six days, and we had, and we, and we didn't find him this whole time. We, no, we never found him this whole time. He was all the way at the back. Hey, just hit your 10th day, Sextus Novius. Congratulations. I think that's everybody. I think everybody's in plate. And every, Nobody every, every knew time who I Biggest say that. Biggest was until until he glitched in the field. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> "I'm over here, I promise." The devs like, "I definitely got to make this guy stand out." Oh my god, we have another legionary, another couple legionaries of grand Ooh. stature. Look at these men right here. In the fifth century, we have Tiberius Sisonius, we have Tiberius Decimus, and we have Quintus Calius. All veterans in our ranks anyone else from the fifth center anyone else oh look at this man right here gaius procalius he's been with us 18 days wow he's a tess but still that's impressive uh, hello tom nautical uh can i call you tom i'm gonna call you tom hey tom call him not not <laughs> no call him tom i'm N -A -U -T. joking K N O T. Plays monkey. So uh, Tom says, "I have all but a few of my first three centuries veteran, and it makes a huge difference." It does. It really does. Now Blaze Monkey asks, "Is it better to raise a village and enslave the population, or is it better to loot and collect taxes?" So, oh, Tom wants to be called naughty. Okay. Nice. So to explain that for you, Blaze Monkey, the villages, when you loot them, you get gold and silver up front. When you enslave them, you get gold and silver up front, but it lowers the population that you can then later tax. So you could do all three, essentially. But 
enslaving takes away from the amount of people. The amount of people determines how much tax you get. Tax gives you gold over time. Enslavement and looting gives you gold right now. So if you need silver right now to upgrade your men or you need gold right now, then you're going to want to loot or sell slaves. If you want to have that ongoing income, that passive income later on, then you're going to want to go for the taxation. Now, all of those have different levels of unrest that they cause when you do them, and that unrest you have to manage later on. You can see these, this town here is that unrest of 40 because I enslaved almost everybody. All right, marching formation. Light your torches. All right, we're heading south. The campaign begins now, everybody. We're heading south to the hamlet of Irv Inverkirk. Inverkirk, yeah, Inverkirk. Heading south to Inverkirk. And on we march. Want to appreciate <laughs> the uh, joke made by Impregnate. Oh, what did he say? Uh, he said, there's a joke in there somewhere. Biggest Dickus likes it in the back now. <laughs> in the back, back row. Back row, sorry. He does like it in the back. <laughs> I see the tips of their huts now. Douse your torches, man. Man, get, get, man, get over here! <laughs> I was just walking by myself that whole time. I didn't realize they weren't coming. Jesus Christ, these fucking men. Happens all the time in the shows. <laughs> in the shows? Which shows are those? Oh, you know, and they're like, oh, come all on, right. let's go. And they start they're walking, walking away, and they turn around, no and nobody's there. Yeah, nobody came with them. Like, Jesus Christ, this guy's making me look like an asshole. Map oh, awesome. Super up north. Ooh. That's good to know. Oh, really? <laughs> That's good to know, Naughty. Battle formation. Yeah. Advance. Halt! Ninth Line up on me. Missing north of the English border. Oh yeah. Which names seem more Scottish? The the Romans. I think or the... he's talking about the towns. Ah. Uh... Well, you know, it's a uh, back then. There's a lot of the same influence of that. Uh, you know, culture. Advance. Halt. We're going to fight this one in formation and put it to the test to see if we get a lot more deaths. So we're going to, we have a full century just like we did last time. We're taking a hamlet. There's no convoys coming. And we'll see how many, uh, how many casualties we take. I'm going to go ahead and pop off a couple of... And maybe, like, even a... And like a... And like a... And like a... And like a, and like a, and like a Stable, man. Stable. See, look, the barbarians push in between, allowing multiple to hit. But because the Romans stay in formation, their shields are up, and they take less damage. And thereby, we're taking less casualties. Yeah. The Romans work better in their formation in that shield wall. Oh man, having the different formations. Okay. Would be really cool. We've taken two deaths, but still three deaths. To what was the last time? Like eleven. Yeah. Then again, this and one we took it. could have been smaller. 
No, they were both hamlets. I mean, yes, they could have been slightly different, but they should be roughly the same force size. Mm. Naughty says it took about two in-game days to sprint around the map. Dang. That's pretty big. Yeah, I like how big it is. Yeah. Oh, wait. We're not here for taxation. The West shall burn. Those were the orders of Caesar. Ooh. We're enslaving everyone we find, and we're loot and raising the buildings. Oh, wait. Did we just... Quest added. Occupier. Conquer more lands. The lowlands third of the island is coming under stable Roman rule. Yeah, you're taking over the lowlands. I think we, uh, I think we beat that quest. Yep, 25 settlements. That was our 25th settlement. Kill 500 barbarians, murder 50 civilians. I didn't do that. <laughs> Okay, so we still need to take 150 slaves. So maybe we'll start... You didn't, you didn't kill 50 civilians. They just all ran into your sword. Fair enough. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's actually how it happened. Yeah, they can't be angry if you enslave them, right? But I'm thinking if we start enslaving, looting and enslaving half... We can get our 150 slaves. No, you know what? The West will burn. But we do need to get more gold income from tax. So we do need to do some taxes now, too. Oh, my God. Here they come. Prepare yourselves for another battle. Uh-oh. allows me to get in here and be part of the formation. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Marching formation. All right, look, we took three casualties. I think it is safe to say that yeah. it is better to be in formation. <laughs> All right, we head southwest. The Romans fight as one. That is true. That's what made them so powerful. All right, guys, it looks like we have a small convoy. Small convoy. These convoy. Okay, there's a big convoy that's probably going to meet us near Craglag. Craigleg? Is that like Pegleg? We're going to call that Craigleg. Craigleg. <laughs> Craigleg. God, that would have been a great name for a U boat crewman. Craigleg Jones. <laughs> That is they call him Craig Leg because he goal. has a peg leg. March. I know a guy with a wooden name leg. Wow, I I can't speak. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes words are hard. <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes I suffer from this disorder. Verbal dyslexia. Is that a thing? I mean, it's gotta be. I don't. I don't know. I don't actually suffer from it. Don't don't worry, guys. <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hansa. The goal is to have all soldiers as veterans. I don't think. I think the goal is to conquer the island. Hanzo, welcome to the stream. I almost said Honda. <laughs> I have a Honda. I have a Honda oh. Shadow Phantom. That is a, another oh, good question. Oh, they are ready for me. What is the good question? Battle formation. What did Boone decide to eat, lol? Oh. 
Boone hasn't. <laughs> uh well we'll we'll see you another time, Macorley, Macerly, Macerly. See you later, Downs. Macro. Wow, look at this man, this man right here. He's a he's a survivor. <laughs> Advance. Now that's what I call red. Halt. See ya. Have a good one. See you later. Here they come. Prepare yourselves, man. <clears throat> oh, I love how they put the shields up as they approach. Oh, you get to see the row of shields go up. Oh my god, did you see that man get taken out by a rock? That was crazy. Oh no. We have to get in there and help! We'll stay in between the lines. If anybody gets through the lines here, we'll... Oh my god, this guy, this giant is blowing through our lines. Big man. I think we've taken it. There's another man coming in. Finish him. We lost God, he didn't stand a chance so far. All right, we've taken it. So yeah, you can see here what I was talking about earlier. Here it says we got 15 serfs because this is just a farm. So there's no nobles living here. Uh, I think it's hamlets and above that nobles live in. But the nobles are what gives you the gold. So we're going to enslave half because we need... See, we can do all three. Naughty, uh, Naughty says another tip is to hit big places early. The map spawns convoys around your area and wants a certain amount of them always around. So if a big place is all that exists, then you get big armies. Yes. Big armies come from big cities or go to big cities. Oh my god, there is a massive 50 gold... 1500 silver army that's a lot the second century lost a test apparently yeah. who should be our new test Manius Erechius 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 Manius Arushus. I love how they just like take each other's place and like move into their position. That's great. Did we lose any yeah. other officers? Okay. Men, follow me. We're going to position on the other side of the town. Boone is going to eat a grenade. Oh, I'm an idiot. We were already on the south side of the town. Jesus, Louise. There they come. He is missing some people, yes. He was missing like four. Oh, dead one, dead. two, three, four, five. So, first century reporting two losses. Second century reporting one loss. Third century reporting two losses. that? Did you see an arrow fly by? Was that a rock? He's like, hold me, man. Are you guys dancing? Alexandro. Are you guys dancing? Alexandro, welcome. He's doing That's great. How Decimus, Decimus is doing. Alexandro, look who's finally arrived. Where is it? Ninth century. Ninth century. In Biggest dickus. 
in the flesh is a legionary in our ninth century. Biggest dick as is finally, finally shown up from Rome. We've been asking for him for months. Yeah, which grenade, huh? That army's moving east of us. Okay, you know what? We're not going to engage that army. We're going to go straight for the waste. Actually, we should go straight for the village. Let's go straight for the village. This, the rain is let up. And we are moving. So we're getting the grenade fries. Is that what you're talking about? What's the grenade fries? Are those good? I want meat. I want meat and cheese. I, I only have two days till I have to go on a 30-day diet where I only drink water and vegetables. Ooh. There's meatball parm. That one looks good. Mm. Marinara mo mozzarella parmesan. That does sound good. Convoy is coming. We need to head a little That's more what I would towards take. the town. Yeah, right. <laughs> Six thousand men a legion. That would be great if we could have big, big numbers. Just lining the hills. Yeah, imagine how big this game could be. You know, because like this is just the start. And it could flush it out, and then you could beat this island, and, like, the game could expand. He could be like, okay, now here's the big campaign where you can host thousands of soldiers, and the island is ten times bigger because I have, you know, a whole team of people helping me. But, you know, he's a one-man dev, and he's doing great things, and so I want to support him and see where we go. Okay, everybody line up. Holy shit. Set battle. Woohoo. And I agree with Miniman, flashbangs would Here we go. Just a lot easier. Hold! Now we're going to see what a village does up against standing in formation. Oh god, I took a rock already. Welcome back, Ducks. Ah, we're going to help the ones we're going to help the ones that get we're going to fight the ones that get through in between. Oh no, Cockley is died. Oh god. Taking heavy casualties. But we are taking a village. We usually take heavy casualties while taking villages. Yeah. Who needs our sandwiches? What? No, he's talking about the menu, Bacon. <laughs> What, what's on the grenade sandwich? Charge! Um, Finish him off. Which one? Take the town! There's so many heads rolling down the hill. <laughs> oh my god. Alexandro is asking who is the soldier that's been with you the longest um i think that's gonna be our perfectus yeah he has been here for 25 days yeah i don't think anyone's been here longer than tetirius numerius you know lots of titties do you have a, a day counter in the game i can check let, hold on let me let's do what we're let's get this village see now we have nobles and you'll see so now if i do loot i'll get gold and we're going to enslave a quarter of the population. And then we're going to demand half their taxes. So we're really up in our unrest in the area at the moment. But, and you know what? I will say, I'd still say we took less casualties than we normally do. Normally, we'd be fucking half of our men down in that fight. I think, I think holding formation for the most part and then sending them into charge is the way to go. Now... That does mean that you're going to have to remember that your 
first, second, and third legion, they're going to take the brunt of the fighting. They're going to be the ones where you're going to see the most losses. And then your back legions are going to be the ones where you see the most veterans. Um, and to answer your question, yeah, I think I think this guy right here, Numerius Titurius, has been with us 26 days now. He's the command of staff, our perfectus. Um, I have not seen anyone. Now, you know what? Uh, what about the centurion of our first century? He's been with us 23 days. So Manius Anicus. Mm, lots of mm -hmm. good comments. Yeah? Yeah. What do we um, got? Well, Pamela is wondering what to decide. <laughs> Uh, but Blaze Monkey, uh, she wants me to get. She wants to order be... food so she can go get it. She's hungry. Hold on, <laughs> let me let me pick my fries. Yeah. Also, uh, first century is missing missing an officer. First century is missing an officer. Oh yes, Pamela, we're gonna get the Godfather fries. Okay, we're doing the Godfather fries. Oh wait. Mm. Scarface fries look good too. No, we're gonna do the Godfather fries: fried mozzarella curds, pepperoni, meatballs, marinara, and the most important ingredient, love. <laughs> love from Godfather. And uh, if you would also get me a garlic knot with marinara, since you're going to Russo's. <laughs> All right, men. It's not over yet. There's still more fights to be had. So, um, interesting tactic from Naughty again. Uh, when the front line is weakened, they like to advance the 4th, 5th, and 6th centuries to where the front lines are. Like, like kind of turning your entire legion around. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking I can use the arrow keys to push them forward. A little bit because the arrow keys so if you see here hold on let me turn this the view finder on if I put them in hold mode there's this cube here and if I use my actual arrow keys I can I can twist and adjust and say no I want you guys to face this way a little bit or face that way a little bit and I don't want you guys to just advance so you can take that and say oh like if your first line is taking it you can push them up so that your second line is there now where the first line was. March. Now, we are going to continue heading south by southwest towards that hamlet there. We will take that hamlet and continue our campaign to conquer the south. Very good, very good. Actually, we're hitting our two-hour mark right now. I think we're going to have to pause this here and continue our campaign south next time. I think we're going to have to head back to camp. Yeah. Well, we are going to head back to camp. We've taken less losses for sure. We've got better armor. We've got uh, better men. And uh, our tactics are getting better as well. And I think that we're overall in a better position. We're doing good in our campaign here. We're going to keep our campaign going in the south. We're going to head back to camp. We're going to refit, restock. And then we're going to next time continue our campaign south and hopefully conquer this last village, this last town. Oh, this is an actual town. So we have the town of Balanthal. So, next time, Ooh. the Siege of Balanthal. Make sure you subscribe so you know when we're streaming, and give us a like so that more people can watch the Siege with us. Thanks, guys, and hey, don't forget, stick around. We're going to do a little stream here in, like, ten minutes, and we're going to go tour the museum and do a little after show and stream where we're going to talk about the different armor and unit types and things like that. So if you want to join us for that, please do. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you, you tomorrow got a for the siege. On a collision course. Battle formation. Ooh, that's a big one.
wait. There they are. Prepare yourselves, men. This is not going to be easy. Oh, I can see the torches now. Here they come. All right, men. This is the last battle for the night. We must hold here so we can make it back to camp. Yes, mini man. We will be streaming again tomorrow for the siege of what did I say it was? Balanthal. The siege of the siege. The siege of Balanthal. The siege of Balanthal will be tomorrow. It looks like they're passing us. Yeah. I wouldn't want to fight that yeah. after coming from uh, well, yeah. raiding a bunch of villages. Yeah, exactly, because look, we, we're going to start losing officers and good men if we try to take the brunt of that into this army right now. So yeah. it's better to let them pass. Once they pass, we'll take this way station on the way back to camp. Good, good. Marching yes, formation. Alexandro. Yeah, they also do. That's why we're going to go. Go ahead, Alexandro. It's asking, what museum? So, in the, the game has a museum feature in the menu where it's got all of the gear and the weapons and the different shields and the plates and the different officer types. And it gives descriptions of each and kind of gives a little bit more in-depth look at them. So we were just going to kind of have a little after show and go around the museum and talk about the different stuff that are in the game right now, the different models and armor types and the d differences between the roles and what they actually do. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like no, it's this game is museum. this game is definitely worth twenty dollars. It's I think it's like seventeen bucks right now too. Crazy. It's the game mechanics great. The gameplay is good, and I mean, we're what twelve hours into this, and we're still not even conquered the entire south. And I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a grand old time. I hope you guys are enjoying it with us. I see 16 of you and only 12 likes. That means four people don't like? Uh, I see 15 likes. Oh, you 15, 15 likes? See, my, oh, 14 people watching. My, my thing is, uh, I think my thing doesn't show. Battle formation. Weird. Prepare yourself, man. Yeah. Take the way station. It would be so cool if when they add archers and stuff if you could do like the the shield wall shield to wall yeah no i'm sure that those will be added because the from what i've talked with the dev he seems to be really into the immersion and really into the whole roman theme himself so i'm sure that <laughs> i don't know any lover of rome that doesn't like a good testudo oh yeah all right and we're gonna go ahead and enslave half demand half and loot why? Because we're bold. We want to... Oh, the local unrest is going ham. But we don't care. We do not care. Our men... The West will burn. The West will burn. All right, men. We're continuing northeast. Oh, yeah. We have to make it to camp. Logistics and multiplayer yeah we logistics is on the roadmap so if you look at the roadmap there's a lot of cool stuff coming like outposts and logistics i think is pretty soon um i think that yeah i think that multiplayer would be really awesome too me and bacon would love that and we were talking about how cool it would be to each have our own legion and we're running around or maybe you could play as the barbarians and have a tribe and you have your cities and you have to keep the romans out Nice compliments from Blaze Monkey. Thanks, Blaze. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're going to try to keep on top of it now. And like I said, tonight me and Bacon are going to be streaming the game steep if you guys want to join us for that as well. We're going to try to keep pumping out different videos and keeping you guys entertained. We love playing, so we figure why not.
Oh, there's the burned down hamlet. Inverkirk. The one what we... a scene. Walking out of the, the woods on a rainy, cloudy day, just seeing this burnt ruin. Burnt ash ruin, yeah. And the sun's, like, still shining through, though, over the hill. Like, even in the rain, it's like, there's yeah. sun over there. And that's the thing that really, for me, like, look at that. Most games, it's either the skybox is rain or the skybox is not. But the sun is peeking through because the clouds are not fully. Like, look, I can kind of see through the clouds right there a little bit. And then it'll cover back up and move. And, oh, the lightning looks so good. Oh. All right, we're almost back to camp. Yes. Yeah, I want to see more walled cities and stuff. When you uh, went up north, Naughty, did you find, were there walled cities? Did the cities get bigger and, like, more defended? I can see our camp, guys. We've made it home. Hey. Finally, the men can rest, wrap their wounds, and clean out their sandals. Sandals. Well, yeah, they wore sandals. Could you imagine marching? I know, I know, in but sandals? I'm just thinking, like, you're walking through muddy forests. Yeah, could you imagine just, just walking in mud? Like, their their feet have to just be, like, peg legs of mud. They probably look like Patrick <laughs> Star. <laughs> they're just caked in mud bricks. Yeah, they're just walking with, like, like giant clown shoes of mud. Like, just, oh, right. So we're going to go ahead and disband our troops and call it here. Men, relax, rest, and tomorrow... The Siege of Balanthal. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Give us about like 10, 15 minutes and we're going to get the stream set up here for the museum tour and kind of after show. If you want to join our Discord, you can find it on our channel and we'll be in there doing the after show. We can bring people in. People can ask questions, things like that. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow around the same time. Have a good night. Say bye, bye. Bacon.